Hi, I would like to present you Save Drop, Supreme and Palace bot. I will discuss its configuration, functions, and I will show how it works on a few examples. I will try to explain it as easy as possible so that you know exactly how our program works. Let's start with the purchase. On our website, there is a link to Chrome Web Store when you can make a payment. After it's done, the extension will automatically be added to your browser. Click on a small icon which has appeared on the bar in the top right corner. Home screen will be displayed. Go to main menu. Here you can set a time at which program will start working. It's recommended to set it to 10-15 seconds before a drop. In a simple way you can also choose a site from which you want to buy items. Take a look at warnings, they appear because the configuration of our bot is not finished yet. Until you do that the program won't be able to work properly. Let's move on to further configuration. On the next page you can add items and the easiest way if you want to buy items from Supreme is going to Supreme Community then to the drop list. Let's choose this hoodie and this cup. All that's left is choosing colors and sizes. Let's do it. Deleting items is also really easy. If you want to buy items from Palace, you have to go to their website, check item list and add items which interest you. Let's take this jacket for example. Then you have to choose color, category, size and it's all done. To find colors of the selected item, just click on it and look through gallery. You can also add items manually and fill in all data, but I think that previous solution is more user-friendly and even much faster. Now let's talk about the bot settings. Let's start with refresh Intel one and set it to 1500 milliseconds. While waiting for the drop, you can see that the site refreshes every one and a half second. Now let's change it to 5000 milliseconds. As you can see, the time between refreshes has increased to 5 seconds. Ok, now move on to checkout delay. It indicates how fast the checkout data is filled in. I will set it to 4000 milliseconds. Let's take a look. All gaps were filled in in 4 seconds. And now let's increase it to 10,000 milliseconds. As you can see, it takes much longer. There's a rule that the more items you buy, the longer checkout delay should be, but don't forget that the minimum is 3-4000 milliseconds to avoid card decline. Next one, basket delay, and it's hard to show in a video. In brief, it's a delay after which the bot will try to add an item to the basket. We suggest 500 milliseconds, assuming that your internet connection isn't really slow. Otherwise, set it to 1000 milliseconds and you will be fine. You can easily disable images. It's useful if you want to save your internet transfer or your connection is slow. If the rest option is turned on and your selected item is sold out, save drop will redirect you to the page with Restox and start scanning it. When an item you're looking for appears, the program will automatically attempt to buy it. And the last option is auto checkout. It determines whether the bot click process payment button automatically or you have to do it yourself. That's how it looks without auto checkout. And with auto checkout enabled. On the next step, you have to select the region and fill in all shipping and billing data. Okay, 
If you're buying in Europe, you can also select PayPal. When filling data, avoid some weird symbols and then make sure it's correct. Okay, everything is done. Let's see how a drop on Supreme looks like. We've been redirected to the site with the countdown. There's also a short summary of information about first selected item. Now let's see how it looks like on Palace. Now it's time to discuss some more options. What if we wanted to buy for example this hoodie? We've chosen a medium size but it had already been sold out. If you really want to buy this item no matter the size we can turn on any size option. In that case the bot will choose any available size. Of course if we choose for example Excel and it's currently available the bot will attempt to buy it first even if the any size option is enabled. The any color option is very similar if you want to buy an item regardless of the colorway. If the color we've chosen is unavailable, the bot will choose a random one. Let's see it in practice. What if we don't know the color of the item, but we know that there will be only one colorway? Let's take this tennis balls for example. I've added red color but I also enabled the any size option. During a drop it turned out that the balls were white but thanks to this function the bot was still able to buy the item. But what if the item has many colorways and we don't know how exactly the color we want is called? In this situation we could write a few similar colors separated by a plus sign. If any color matches, the bot will be able to search the item. In case one color is sold out, we can make the bot attempt to buy another one by adding more colorways, separating them by a plus sign as well. If there is unwanted or sold out item in our basket, the bot will delete it and continue working. Let's move on to Palace. Here we have fewer options. You can choose only one color, but the any size option is available and it works just like on Supreme. We choose medium which is sold out and the bot took other one. After every drop bot will automatically turn off, but you can stop it manually too. On the last tab there are logs where you can always find out how long each step took and if there were any errors. At the beginning I recommend using some fake data, make some tests to make sure you fully understand how the program works. And I think that's all. Remember that you can always click the help icon located in the left bottom corner in case you have any difficulties. You will be redirected to our detailed user manual. If you have any other questions just leave a comment and be sure to check out our social media Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and join our Facebook group. Before you buy, try out free version which improves the look of both Supreme and Palace websites. It marks sold out items, enlarges the font, shows item prices and more. Download and check out for yourself. All links are in the description. I wish you all good luck on next drops.